But now I can take the bishop, go for the four Karoo with knight d7, win the materials, GG, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And the Oscar goes to Hikaru Nakamura. I will play e4 this time. Already over 1,000. Yeah, we're, we're, we're climbing pretty quickly here. It plays the Aliakin's defense. Now, we've played this opening before or against it. We play, push the pawns very quickly and go knight c3 to trade the pawns. This is a, a legendary legendary openings at the beginner beginner level. Um, let me close those tabs for the Reykjavik open. Let's take this way because I want to bring the queen, bring the bishop very quickly. Bring both of them out. I'm going to go here to guard the pawn. And now I'm going to bring the queen and bring the bishop. So... I think I'll bring the queen out, so I take. If he takes this one, he loses this one. Do I know anything? Thank you so much for Splitful Gaming for the raid as well. Thank you so much. So he plays g6 here. I can play knight f3. I can also play h4. So I'm going to play h4, h5. Please mute the notification. Thank you so much to Split Soul Gaming for the raid with 12. I appreciate it. So let's play h5 here, maybe knight f3. Uh, we did tier list on openings that beginners should play up to a certain point. So that's what we're basing this off of. Now I could take the pawn. I think I will. And I'll play bishop d3 and go like knight f3. Why am I only at 1,000? We started this at 500. So we were basically trying to run it up. Let's go here. Let's take the pawn here and play like knight f3. These colors are blind me. Sorry about that. Um, now, I am much better here because he's moved the king. No development. I've got an active rook. I've got bishops. And I can even castle here. I think I should just castle out of the center and check the king all in one go. Play knight f3 here, maybe bishop a4 next move. Maybe even queen a4 should be good. I think I'll go here because now I'm trying to take the pawn due to the double pin. All right, we take. He can't take this one, and he can't take this one because he's checked either way. I can obviously take the knight here. I can also go bishop g6 check. I think I'm going to go check instead. And if he takes, I just take the rook here and let's check me. If he moves the king, I just take take and that's very good. If king f8, there's also just bishop h6. So I take and take. Let's just take. Take the bishop here, and I can take the bishop. Uh, let's go, uh, let's play the King's Indian, because the King's Indian is on our list of openings. It's a very solid setup with bishop g7, knight f6, g6, d6. So you want to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Of course, he can sack the bishop, but this doesn't change anything. He's still going to lose. Go here, and King g8 manually castles. This is not the disrespect speedrun, no. We're playing openings. Play h6, uh, openings that we consider to be legendary at the beginner level. Let's go here, bishop f5, or queen to e8. Let's go queen e8 and e5 next move. Um, let's just play e4 here to kick the knight out. Play knight c6. We can go bishop e6 maybe bishop e6 d5 knight a5 maybe just a6 b5 is good here because i'll play b4 and knight b4 okay i'll just take if takes i just take so takes now though i have an extra bishop and extra knight so i'm in really really good really really good shape take Okay, I just have two extra pieces here. I can just block the queen guards the knight. Knight guards the pawn. Did I ever dream of having a guinea pig as a pet? No, I did not. Well, according to Google, according to Google, I was told that Google says that I got $2.4 million. Um, 
for switching to kick. So everybody has their thoughts, um, but that's that's apparently what Google thinks I got. Take the pawn, take the knight, have an extra queen, extra rook. We're gonna we're gonna be speed running our way up very very quickly. Actually, no. Why am I doing speed run? I was gonna do an arena. Wait, I was gonna do an arena. Oh, okay, let's do a little bit more. I was gonna do a three check or, or a king of the hill arena. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, that's what they say. The site isn't isn't even bad. Also, if it makes it sound awful. Oh, I mean, I'm enjoying it. I mean, I I, I don't. To me, the the whole world is kind of wacky these days. I will say the whole world is kind of wacky. All right, all right. Is the permanent thing? I mean, we'll see. But I, I do. I, I will give you guys a hot take, though. I think that if that if Kick survives for more than another like six, seven months, I think Kick is going to be here for good. I think if it survives for that long, it's going to be here for good. That that's my that's my that's my honest opinion. I think if they survive past a certain point, they're they're going to be here for good. I think I think that's just how it's going to be. Go here. I'm not good at King of the Hill. King of the Hill is where you try to get a king to like E4, E5. People are too tribal these days about everything. Apparently, yeah. So, all right. Again, big shout out to everybody who's watching. Hope you're having a fantastic day here on here on this great platform that we call Kick. Um, I, feel, I think 95.5 is too generous. I think like 90.10 is good too. Right, but if you but like let's just assume that they have to reduce it at some point from like 95 to even like 75.25 is still phenomenal. I mean, it's still phenomenal. And there's no disputing the fact that Twitch's 50-50 ad revenue split or not ad, actually no ad revenue is a different thing that's changed too, which I could talk about. Um, but basically, with the sub split being 50-50. Um, it's the lowest in the industry nowhere else it's the lowest it's the lowest out of everything lowest lowest easily the lowest so um yeah low, lowest offer in the entire industry so yeah let's play a5 here oops checkmate saturday saturday Okay, let's keep going. Um, let's play E4. I gotta update the score too, so let me open a new browser. Let me pull up the stats for. Okay, now we can play. Dan I'm gonna keep playing Danish Gambit or Scotch. Uh, L mod he L for E card for not following. That I'm sorry about you guys. I don't follow everything. Um, uh, YouTube is I don't know what YouTube I don't know what YouTube's is um still on 69 yeah I just I need to get the score because I have the score somewhere down here um score okay let's just take so one second where, where did I have my scoring so we're at 70 I think I think we're at 70. Twenty-one, yeah, we're, we're we're at seventy-one. We're at seventy-one. Yeah. All right. So let's uh, go here. Knight c three. Sorry, just making sure that I get the score so I can update the scoring. Um, we're at seventy-one. There we go. All right. Let's keep going. Let's play knight c three. I will just develop my pieces. Knight three, bishop b two, and castles. Uh, let's go h3 move just to stop bishop g4 so we can't put pressure on my center here because right now the center is very good so i will go bishop b5 maybe takes me to castle well, i consider what i recommend joining a chess club or boosting your elo i think that would be a great idea honestly i think that would be a fantastic idea uh, let's go here and hit the queen yeah why is everyone so iffy about gambling mm. Everyone, everyone has their axes to grind about everything. That's just what it is these days. Everyone's going to be outraged about something. Just simple, simple answer. Everyone's going to be outraged about something. That's just how the world works in this, mo this modern world. Let's take, take. I'd like to see you on Rogue and ask Lex to connect you. I think I already asked Lex and nothing happened, so no. Um, mm, let's castle and play 95. I don't actually have a big advantage here. It's pretty balanced. Maybe I'll go here to hit the pawn. 
Oh, the casting was wrong because now there's a lot of pressure on these two lanes. I'm a big fan of telling people what to do. Yes. I'm a big fan of telling people what to do. <laughs> okay, classic right triangle. Of course, 90 degrees. We hit the pawn or win the night. How do we join the arena? We'll be doing about 30 minutes. We'll be doing an arena. So let's go back to B4. It's been a pretty good stream, but pretty chill. Having a lot of fun enjoying it. I guess... Um, I guess... Yeah, if I, load, if I load the browser, then you still hear me again. <laughs> the, to, not Twitch, sorry. Kick needs to fix that, though. They need to fix how if you open the... If you open... Uh, you open you, you open a channel, it automatically... Uh, it automatic, automatically plays with sound. Because on Twitch, it does not. Take, take the pawn here. I've got D's, Knights. I have the Evans Gambit in my repertoire, too. That is one of the openings we have on our list. Yeah, I can even take... I can play Rook C1. Let's just go Rook C1 and hit the pawn on C7. Oh, I blunder rookie five. Whoops. If I take... Oh, no, I didn't. I can take. The knight guards the queen. Never mind. I almost blundered. Hmm. Play rook d1. Trade some rooks here. Go knight d5. Hit the pawn. I can even play knight f6 here. Go here. Maybe I'll take the pawn and fall into the ice skater. Probably not. But now I can take the bishop, go for the fork a with knight d7, win the materials, GG, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And it's losing, like I said, we already know the result because it's not on a delay on their stream. Again, I already said what I said. I, I, I would be I would be kind of shocked if the organizers or the powers that be don't do something about that. Because that it's very clearly not what the rules are, how the rules are supposed to be. So if it takes I have bishop c4, um, It's not only the streamers itself, chess.com is a separate section for the streamer games where the event is really is without any delay. Wait, really? I, I just, I want to see what Fide has to say about it. I'm just very curious what Fide has to say about it. I just, I want to, I want to see what Fide has to say about that. Because Fide and chess in general, we are, we are, we do tend to be big sticklers for rules. And so I'm just curious to see what Fide has to say. Let's let's take the take the rook in the corner here. I can just castle and play like e5 next move. I can just take the knight. I can play f4 here and maybe hit the pawn on uh, e5. Am I GM? Yes, I am a GM. Yeah. And my final complaint, it's not about Anna, actually. It's about its about the organizers, uh, why that is allowed, actually. No, it's about the organization. Because, like, Anna's, I mean, it, it, Anna, of course, probably is not the one who should, who has to say anything. It's about, it's on the organizers to say something that you can or cannot do it. But if, if you're going to say that it's okay to not stream on a delay, then why is the event in the first place on a delay? It'll just make the whole event not on a delay. Make the whole event in real time. Unless it's all just a stunt, um, and it's not actually about cheating at all. Let's keep going. Okay, so um, D4 is played here. I will play Knight F6 here. I'm going to play the King's Zinni again with G6, Bishop G7, and D6. I'm enjoying kick immensely, yeah. Play here in Castles. Go Knight D7. And play E5. Play Rook E8. This actually is a King's Zinni. Very standard setup here with all these all these pieces developed. You bring the Bishop, the Knight out. You Fion Cheeto it behind this pawn, these pawns. And then you bring the Knight here, here, and play E5. Let's take... So e4 is played. I think now I'm going to play a5 to fix the pawn so white can't push. And now I have a square for the pony on c5 here. Green squares? Yeah. Yeah, green squares. Exactly. Uh, let's just take the pawn. Let's take here. Do I think Anna asked first? I don't know. It doesn't matter to me. Like, it's not on her, it's on the organizers. If the organizer said, like, sure, you can go, you can broadcast this in real time, even though the event's being run on a delay, then, I mean, then whatever. Like, I guess the organizer, but, but as I said, like, it's really a question ultimately of whether, whether, like, w like, what, what is the point, what is the point of all these measures if there are two sets of rules? That, that's all it comes down to. I mean, like, is it, is it all just theater? Like, what, what is it exactly? Let's play knight c3 and hit the rook on b1. That's what, that's all it comes down to. 
It's not about Anna or vote test specifically. It's about the organizers and whether the organizers are, are basically saying we, we have to have these anti-cheating measures in place, but suddenly we also have a whole separate set of rules. I'm, 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 I'm annoyed about it. Well, I'm annoyed about it because, because regardless of everything that has happened in chess, there are, there, there are rules. Rules are rules any way you look at it. And I know I would get disqualified from a tournament instantly. Instantly, if that happened. Instantly, I would get, I would get disqualified. Instantly, I'd get disqualified. Yeah. I'm going to play E4 here on Bishop D3. Yeah. Play E4. Um, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play the advanced French against with, with D4 and E5. Play C3, takes an E5. Same thing. Resign already? Me? No, not in this game. In some of the games earlier, yeah, but not this game. Uh, let's play this Knight F3. Let's turn to an advanced French with the same pawn structure here. Friday stream plans will be live probably around the same time tomorrow. Most likely the same time. Yeah. Um, let's just castle. Keep it very, very simple here. Let's play knight to e2 and knight to g3 and then rook e1. Maybe even just bishop g5 and bishop e3. I guess I'll go bishop f6 here. If takes, I can take a queen d2, queen h6. Same, same kind of idea here. What do I play on Monday? The Chess Champions Tour is starting at, um, Chess Champions Tour starts on Monday at, I think, like 10 a.m. or roughly around that time. I'm going to play Queen F4. Maybe, actually, Knight H5 is very strong because the Bishop prevents the capture. And if takes, I just take, can I leak my Spanish prep? No chance. I guess I will just take the Bishop because I'm threatening mate in one with Queen H6 or Knight F6. There are all kinds of problems here for my opponent. Take, so I go check and mate. Uh, it's an online event, so there's there's no like opening ceremony or anything. There might be something like tomorrow that I'm unaware of, but we'll see. Also, as far as tomorrow goes, apparently there's an online Olympiad qualifier, something that I might play in. So we'll see. I, I might play in it tomorrow, but who knows? Okay, let's play e4 here again. Maybe d4. Let's play Smith Moore Gambit with c3. Let me update the score. Um, let's see what the score is. The score is take score i'm currently at 75 so let me up, update this we're at 75 there we go i think i'm gonna try to get to like 85 maybe 80 85 let's go here maybe knight f3 is it tomorrow for non-title players i don't know do you think fide is more concerned with the women's grand prix sure but you know in my entire career in, in chess i will say one thing in my entire career if there is if there is one thing that is always universal always universal it's the fact that arbiters are sticklers for the rules to a T always that it does not matter whether I play in Europe, whether I play in America, wherever I play, that is the one thing that has always been consistent. And that's why I'm actually confused by what's going on because that's like, the, that's always been a hundred percent consistent. I mean, like I don't, there are plenty of times that like I get annoyed even at arbiters over certain little things, but it's always like the rules are the rules. There's no bending the rules. So that's what that's why I'm I'm kind of just really shocked and I'm actually in a sense like somewhat bothered by it too. Let's play G4 here to attack the knight. And we'll see we'll see what my opponent does. His knight his knight is kind of trapped, but he does have a move here that kind of saves the game. Goes queen c7. Now I'm gonna play knight d5 to hit the queen and take the knight. What has been your worst playing experience over the board? Um worst playing experience over the board was Probably when I lost to Magnus Carlsen in the Zurich Chess Challenge in 2014. Zurich Chess Challenge. So, let's see. Um, am I going to stream more often on um, on on Kick? Uh, am I going to stream more often now that I switch to Kick? I mean, probably I'm going to keep the, my hours pretty consistent to what I've been doing. Um, but the one thing that I will stress that is not happening, because I think people sometimes assume it... Um, go here um the one thing that i will stress that uh, I, I think can't be stated enough is that it's not like i'm cutting back or anything like that i think a lot of people they assume that when you when you um when you do these sorts of things it's like you get some massive bag and you're just gonna cut back on hours you're retiring all these things none of that applies here none of that applies um so let's go knight g5 here or maybe knight f6 
So let's go bishop b3, maybe knight a6 or queen h5. So yeah, honestly, um, I will be uh, I, I will, I'll be streaming probably more than I was. I'm really excited. Yeah, really, really excited. Takes there. I will just take the pawn and hit the pawn with checkmate in one. Why was the losses to Carlson the worst? Because I had never beaten Magnus at that point. Um, I'd lost every, not every game, but I'd drawn some, but I'd lost like 12 or 13 games. God knows how many games I'd lost to him. And I had a completely winning position. And to make matters worse, like when I was playing the game, like I could see in the distance, it was a fairly small room. I could see my stepfather was with the organizer. They were like in the back watching the game. And I could t I could see from the, the, like the facial reaction, he was in good mood. And also my brother was coming into town that evening. And, um, and so all these good things were happening. And then I knew I was winning and I fudged it up. I fudged it up hard. And I lost the game easily. I mean, it's just everything about that is just so painful to think about. Uh, I played the Danish. Let's play the Scotch in honor of uh, the Juice or XQC. Okay, so we're gonna play King of the Hill in about like 25 minutes. So we, we have an arena that we're playing in. I'll, I'll show you guys um, in a second. It's gonna be King of the Hill, which means you play regular chess, but if the King gets to E4, E5, you win the game. Yeah, have I ever cried over a game? Well, I mean, I was pretty much in tears after losing that game. That was rough. So let's go bishop c4 here, hit the queen. This is going to be the last game that we're going to get ready and play the play the arena. Oh, this castle. Go knight c3, try to develop my knight at some point. Um, like queen here, maybe knight to 5 or knight b5. Lately, you're crushing Magus. I've been doing, doing quite well. Yeah. Let's go knight d5 to hit the pawn on c7. Our arbor is strict on what you can wear. That's usually not in the purview of the arbor. That's usually in the purview of the uh, of like the organization that puts together the tournament. So, like for example, if you play in an event that's that's like a FIDE organized event, they might have some dress code, and the FIDE will decide like what to do based off. The arbor is not going to be like, okay, well, you know, you can't do this. Like it's going to be FIDE that will say something ultimately. So let's just play Bishop E3 here. I guess I'll play e6, try to win the pawn here on f7. You got made in 14 moves, rough. Yeah. We have we have the tournament link, you guys. We're gonna play King of the Hill starting in seven minutes. So give me one second. I was gonna do it a little bit later, but we have it set up now. Um let's take Oscar Stream when you're referring to my dearly beloved brother. I don't know when. He he has a wife, he has he has a kid, he has a daughter. Um he works at JP Morgan Chase, so he's a very busy person. So um yeah, it's unlikely, unlikely. Also, speaking of that, I'll tell you guys a funny story. So, I was talking to my brother recently, and um, he was—he was actually—he was—he was, actually, was, was in a really—he was really in a really bad mood. He—he he was very angry because he ran into somebody who cheated on a cheated against him and bullied on Chess.com. He's like—he was really—he's like telling me, like, can you do anything? Are there, why are there so many cheaters? I mean, does Chess.com not care at all about the game? I mean, he literally went on this long rant about it. And I was like, okay, but I mean, I'm not the boss. I can't do anything about this. So it was, it was pretty funny, actually. Pretty funny. <laughs> okay, let's just check me. So let's stop the time. We're going to play in the arena once. I, let me just make sure my score is correct. Um, yeah, it was pretty funny, though. Pretty funny to hear that. Resume. It, uh, what's Scandinavian is one of the main openings that we have here. Uh, you go queen a5, c6, bishop f5, e6, knight f6, bishop b4. All very, very standard. You love the Evans Gambit. Evans Gambit is a great opening to play. It's a very, very good opening. Let's go here, knight bd7. Only thing is when white puts a bishop here, you have to be very careful to move the queen if white scoots the knight. But otherwise, all the opening steps are very, very basic. Why do people refuse to play? Because they don't want to lose rating points. Let's go back. I feel as I used to have 24-hour home games with mates. Um, okay, let's play rook d8 and queen c7. And the Oscar goes to me. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Accelerated Dragon, also a completely respectable opening if you're a beginner. It's not probably amongst my top openings, but it's definitely respectable. I'm imagining Hikaru is a professional bodybuilder, and I can't stop laughing at the image. Uh, that's a free pawn. I will gladly just grab it. Let me make sure I have the score as well so that I can um, pull it up. Okay. So he plays a5. I will just castle the king out in the middle of the board. Okay, plays 94. I will gladly trade the pieces here. Someone needs to Photoshop that. I'm sure my mods could do it. The Evans Gambit is a very reasonable opening. Very, very reasonable opening, as people were asking before. He takes. I will just trade the Knights off the board. Play like 95, trade the Knights, and keep going. 
Do the ratings are so different they lose very many, very few points? Yeah, but still, nobody wants to end up in the uh, and nobody wants to one, wants to have to like take it super hardcore and super serious as well. Like that's why I don't play play Blitz without increments. I don't want to have to really focus super hard when I'm playing. And it's the same thing for opponents. They don't want to play 3-0 because it's like it's it's pretty rough um, if you're not completely on. So let's go B6 trade some pawns here. Play C3 will discover a lot of opportunities. That's a reasonable move, move too. So what I'm doing is I'm putting all my pawns on the opposite color of this light square bishop and we keep rocking and rolling that's what we're doing um, let's play f6 maybe bishop f7 here and keep it going go bishop f7 here I don't know I'd be honored to lose C car yeah yeah am I really following the chat of course it's uh it's no different than on Twitch like I, I that's always been one of my strongest suits is that I'm able to follow the chat very well been one of the strongest uh seen it's messed up no I mean I oh wait what's wrong with the clocks wait what why are the clocks wrong wait you're, you guys are right what happened to the clock Uh, did I, did I just the board? Is the board wrong? Is it, is it the board? No, it's not the board. It's a timer. Okay. Um, yep. Clock. Exactly. Uh, I'll pause after this game and I'll fix it. Just give me one second. You're right. The clock is off for me. I mean, you can still see what the clock is. Um, F5, I guess I can play like G5, H6. I will just trade the rooks here and play rook d8. Okay, bishop g4. Let's go here. Play rook d3. Take the pawn. Just end the game. Let's go rook d3. Attack the queen. Actually, I guess I'll just go back. No, no reason to get too crazy here. Simple trade, simple trade, 15%, 15 plus years of your life for a 30% chance of becoming a GM. Not far from the truth, actually. Yeah. So. All right. Um, let's go queen d7, maybe rook d2 here. No, becoming a GM requires a certain performance, for those of you guys who are wondering. It requires a certain performance where you have to perform a certain level uh, multiple times. Yeah. I guess I'll make a check on the king. Why well, you can move the king somewhere? I'm just gonna go like queen d8, queen h8, and keep it going. Oh, uh, this is just checkmate. Let's keep. Actually, no. Let's not keep going because I need to adjust the clock. Um. Okay. Wait a second. So the clock is off a little bit, right? Okay. It's not that one. Um. Okay. So. Is this one? One second. Um. One second. Doom, doom, doom. On group. Okay. Not this one. Is it this one? Not this one. Um. Which one is it? Not the chessboard. Which one is it? Is it this one? Oh yeah, yeah. So it's the bottom one, right? I think it's this one, but that should be good. But then which one is off? One second. Um, it's not that. It's this one. Maybe it's this one. Okay, there we go. Yeah, okay, that's what it is. So it's the actual board that's off. Okay, one second. It's the board that's off. No, the board looks fine though, right? This all looks fine. The board is fine. Um, I think this looks okay, right? This looks okay now, I think. I think it looks okay. So let's click on new three minute. Let me see how it looks now. It looks it looks okay it's still a little bit too small though right 
Okay. Uh, let's play the Sicilian here, but it, it looks much better to me, at least. Yeah, yeah th this looks fine now. Yeah, it looks fine. Okay. Um, let's play Knight C6 here. Okay, let's play E6. Just simple Sicilian. All the Sicilians are relatively fine. It looks good to you. Okay, I'm going to play G6, Bishop G7, attack the pawn in the center of the board here. Go here, target the pawn. Um, this is game, this is game number two. We won the first game. So let me, let me, let me update the score in a second. Um, okay, let's play, I guess, A5 and maybe B6 here. Let's take, maybe Knight F5, target the pawn with the D's Knights. Okay, I guess I will just take and take. So we're at 78 then, I believe. 78, right? Let me see. What, what's the scoring? Yeah, it's 78. So it's game number 78. Okay. So let me update the score. Um, we're currently at 78. There we go. I don't have a script for this one right now, you guys. So it is what it is. Let's drop back. Elo is Arpad's last name. Yes, Elo is named after um, Arpad Elo, the, uh, the famous uh, mathematician from hung Hungary. Let's go queen a5 i mean just pin the knight no no real need to do this but just a move to play and then maybe bishop d7 castles i will just trade the queens and now i'm going to break the chain by going here i'm breaking his pawn chains he's going to take or i'm going to take and he's not going to keep the pawns in the center of the board thank you so much to itchy and scratchy for subscribing thank you so much to the itchy and scratchy show thank you so much must be a big simpsons fan big shout out to itchy and scratchy for this subscription thank you Hungary, yeah, Hungary, yes. From the great country of Hungary, yeah, totally. This is a free pawn. I have one, two guarding. He has one, two attacking, so two and two. All right, what are we doing? We can play E4 here, target the knight, target the pawn. It's all very good. Is it true that your net worth is $150 million? <laughs> no, I'm eating a cross ant, you guys. I'm just eating a cross ant with some turkey um, and some pickles. This castle. Go here. I'm going to snipe you at 1400. Don't destroy me, please. Thank you so much. Let's take... How many calories do chess players need per day? I don't know. There's nothing scientific on that. Um, there's a famous article on ESPN saying that um, saying that chess players burn like 6,000 calories a day. I think that's total bologna. Um, I don't believe that for a second. But nonetheless, um, I, th I think players do burn calories for sure. It's not 6,000. It's probably like 1,000, maybe 2,000. It's, it's probably, it is probably a real number, but it's not 6,000. That's just sensational, sensationalizing it. Let's go here. We're pushing P in the center of the board. And we're going to win. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, uh, I, and that's just total Bologna. It's Bologna. 6,000 calories a day, that's more like hiking a gigantic mountain. Yeah, I mean, thank you to Vixiatus for subscribing. Thank you so much. I would say in general, it's probably like one to 2,000 if you play like a four or five hour game that's stressful. Now, of course, if you play a very casual, chill, like one or, one or two hour game, I, I doubt you burn anything. Let's make a queen. Yeah, Wesley so burns 7,500 calories. I gotta say, you guys, since some of you haven't watched my stream all the time, uh, there was this tournament that was played in Germany very recently, and it was played in Berlin. And some of the guys who were playing that tournament, they had heart rate monitors. Heart rates were getting to like 170 for Wesley So. And um, I mean, if your heart rate's 170, it's, I mean, I guess you're burning calories, but you're definitely also going to have problems when you're in very intense games because your heart is out of control. I mean, it's, yeah, he was like 170. It was just like terrible. Okay, Sicilian, what do we have? We have the Smith Morris. So I'm going to play D4 and C3. I'm going to I'm going I'm to find a way to make it a Smith Morris. I'm going to gamut upon. No, his heart rate was like 170 at the start of the game. 
let's go c3 here keep it simple i'm just gonna cast let me look at my notepad for what the what the openings i have in slain are this is selling with the smith more that's pretty much all we have i guess so i'm just gonna play h3 stop bishop g4 let's play rookie one I mean he looked very chill he didn't look like he, he didn't look like he, he was like stressed or anything during the game but yeah his heart rate was like ridiculously high I didn't talk to Matt I, I mean I spoke to him very briefly at one of the dinners uh for the opening ceremony but um I, I you know I played Magus Carlson with a heart rate monitor my heart rate at the peak when I was like the most stressful was like 140 150. normally it was around like 100 or 110 once the game began so I'm gonna take the juicer we should be winning here um this will be this will be what this will be number 80 game win number 80 so let me update the score because I'm already going to win this game he just walked into a clean fossil as well there we go uh, I just go check fossilize the king fossilize the queen because I discovered the fossils in the ground it must be genetic and nothing to do with chess I mean it's possible I mean I'm not a doctor so I don't know but but yeah like 170 is not good I was like 140 150 Magnus was generally much lower he's like 120 ish I would say so yeah it's just tough